Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome back. I'm your girl D, and I'm back with some very great news for you guys. When you have been selected to be the DV lottery winner of 2020, yes, we call it 2020 because you have applied in October 2020. You want to know what is your next step? Where do you even begin? I am a nervous wreck. I am excited and I am nervous. Please help me. Right, I'm right here and I'm here to help you. So stay right there and I will give you all the information. No, don't worry. I'm right here. I've got your back. Watch this video till the end and you will be good to go. So, May the 8th has arrived and you probably didn't get any sleep, right? So the main question here is, what do I do if I have checked my result? Should I now start selling everything that I Should I contact the embassy? Can I start to celebrate? Should I give notice at my workplace? Should I take my children out of school? Exactly should I do? Now remember the first is the advice that I give you. You will not pay anybody any money to do your visa application for you do not pay anybody it is gonna be a scam do it yourself you are gonna go cry when those scammers are running away with your you money will be left with no money for your visa your medical your transport meaning your flights and no money for your green card you go on and log on to the website and you go check your results yourself and it will either say you have been selected or it will say you have not been selected now if you didn't get a chance to check the results on may the 8th don't worry don't stress when you come back on a later day the results will still remain the same as it was on May the 8th. It will not change. If you have been selected on May the 8th and you come back on 10 May, the results will remain the same. It cannot change. It will not change. So if you have been selected on May 8th, then you will still be selected on, on May 10th. There is no way, no way on this planet Earth that the results will change. There will be no more selection for this year. May 8th is the final selection. Now you check and you see that you have not been selected. What should you do? So there is really nothing that you can do but accept the results. And wait till October again and reapply. But in another case where you see that you have been selected, there will be a PDF letter attached. That letter is called the first notification letter of winning the DV lottery and in this letter they explain to you that you are very well one of the selected but, but wait that does not mean yet that you have received a visa yet you still need to prove to them that you are eligible and you do meet the requirement in order to get your visa so you will follow all these steps that they will require from you in this now remember there are 55,000 winners but that does not mean that all 55 winners will receive no. a visa some people may not meet the requirements and they may not receive a visa the first important information to look for on that letter is to look for your case in your number. first notification letter they will give you your case number so you would want to check if your case number is higher or if it is your lower. Your case number will start with the year that you have been waiting for the results. And if you are from Africa, the year, so it will start with the year and AF. So it will be 2022 AF and number. So if your case number is less than 55,000, then you have a higher chance of getting an interview. Now remember, this does not yet mean that you have got the visa. So don't celebrate just yet because the hard work only starts now. Next is, you must fill in the DS-260 form. The DS-260 form is an immigrant visa. 
you will be getting an immigrant visa which in this case is the DS-260. When you fill in this form, do not rush to fill it in. Take your time. And the main thing is, do not lie in this form because they will find out if you have been lying. And at the end of the day, all the money that you have spent on your medicals and on your visa application, you will lose it because of a little lie that you told them in your DS-260. And in this DS-260, you will need to put in the address of your host. This is a very, very important step to follow. Now remember, a host is not a sponsor. A host is a, pe a person that you will be staying in at when you are coming to the USA. And the host has got the address to where they will send your green card to and where they will send your social security is number. you will need to fill in your education level and you will need to fill in the school that you attended and the school address and the school telephone number. next you will put in your work requirements and your work experience make sure that you put in all your working experience in the last five years Put it down in a nice and neat and remember you will need to take these with you on the day of your interview so you cannot lie about this you need to take it with all the original documents you need to take with you on the day of your interview is your marital status and the number of your children if you applied as single in october and you got married between october and may you are allowed to put on your spouse in the DS-260 but you need to have solid evidence that you got married in between October and 8 November. If you have children under the age of 21, you may put them on. So, say your child turns 21 after October, you may still put that child on but that child should not be married. So if your child was 20 when you filled in and you applied in October and he turned 21 in the middle of October and May, that is still fine as long as the child has been 20 when you have applied in October. So if you applied as single and you show up with a wife at the embassy at your interview, then you are going to be lied. And if you applied in October and saying that you don't have any children but you show up at your interview with children you are going to be denied so now you have filled in your DS-260 and you have submitted it what is the next step that you should do now you are going to have to wait for KCC to email you and they will ask you for certain documents they will ask you for a copy of your passport a copy of your of birth certificates, a police clearance certificate and you will need to send a copy of your marriage certificate as well if you are married. Your second notification will be when you will see when your interview date. So when you have this date you will go for your medicals to a doctor of their choice and now you will need to prepare all your original documents or your work experience you will need a letter from your employer stating that you are working for them how long have you been working for them and the contact details of your employer now don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video to be notified to when i'm posting more of these contents now i wish for you everything of the best and i hope that you will be one of the lucky winners on may 8th and i hope that you can go to the united states and live the american dream so i'm gonna see you in my next video bye